Ouch. That was a weird use of that was a weird use of slow mo and speed up. Yep. And this is Sonic the Hedgehog Part Forty Four. Mephilus had a little too much to drink. Nah, he, he drank too many goddamn bullets. He summoned an Uber and is then Mephilus. expelled into another dimension. So yes, oh, Mephilus can time go? travel at will. Now, why do you suppose that he has that power? Uh, when the mostly chaos because the, empower the hedgehogs to do that. Uh, mostly because he is actually one half, uh, one half of a creation yeah, deity. So no yeah, be, uh, being able to time travel at will is really probably the power that he got instead of uh, Iblis. So. Right, and Iblis's power was to be a giant molten ba worm. Badassery. No. This part does bear a warning. Um, I decided to uh, bite the bullet on some of these town missions in the area while also first screwing with uh, how Omega has to position himself according to where I am. But why? Shadow doesn't need any of the rings. Shadow needs nothing. As a matter of fact, I think Shadow basically has all the power-ups he needs to get through the rest of the game. Nah, well, he does, but to be perfectly honest, you want to get Kaioken 3. So, if he needed nobody, now he needs nothing. I know not the efficacy of this particular upgrade, so I can't really commentate on it. Really? You don't actually use the Chaos Lance? It appears to be a passive upgrade, so I don't, I don't, uh, voluntarily, like, uh, access it when I try to use my Chaos Spear. Here's the or, thing, uh, your your uh your your chaos powers have three different levels to them and uh in order to get to the other levels I'm pretty sure you have to activate uh, your chaos form a second or third time. Second or third time well you activate it the first time by filling up your bar, but then your bar starts to drain. Yes, and then you can active and then you can activate uh you can activate um your chaos power a second or third time while your bar is draining. I believe. Interesting. Well, that I have not tried to do. I usually assume that once the bar starts draining, that's it. It's the whole bathtub is going to empty out. Francis tells me that she's an agent who represents a, a decryption unit. However, the decryption unit mostly has people solve a math comprehension quiz in order to uh, join the club. Why is this Francis is... female? We call it, well, Fran that's Francis is a it's a lady's name, like Francis McDormand. I'm beginning to suspect that Cloud is DC'd. This is the test of intelligence. See the numbers. Determine which number makes the center. You have four choices. And what choices would those be? Huh? Uh, numbers. Ah. The four numbers. The only four possibilities. Okay, moving on to the second test. These are the numbers. I didn't actually uh, read because the text boxes um, uh, were a bit too small for me. What What is our goal here? Our goal here is to determine what the star number is, uh, based on what the other numbers are. Uh, it looks like it's one. This is the problem I had with this board, is... I was not sure if it was one, and based on the way the, where the camera's pointing right now, I'm not even sure if one is a valid answer right now. Because I may only select from the boxes on the right, and there were, there were only four boxes on my right. Well, the boxes on your right are six, are six, eight, and what? Six, eight, um, two, maybe. The okay, was it Apparently six? Apparently, it was six. Huh? Oh nope. No. Uh, well, darn. It looks like I didn't pass the test. 
But well, hang on a second. Hang on one cod pick a second. I'm not through with you just yet. This is when I realized, Mr. Gerda, that persistence is the lesson of Sonic 06. Okay, so we're supposed to figure out what uh, what uh, number belongs in the star box, but what is the uh, equation that we're solving? It's not it's not an equation. It's it's a number pattern. It's a matrix, if you will. Okay. If you can figure, if if anybody can figure out these patterns, or if, even if there is a pattern, I would love to I would love to hear from you. But as I understand it, one valid technique to go through this particular minigame is to just spam it over and over again and eliminate all the correct, all the incorrect answers because these are not randomized. Every uh, now yes. is the pattern horizontal or is it vertical? You got me. <laughs> Sounds to me like somebody would have a short career in the decryption industry. I want to say that the star number is either one or six, but you hit. Well, six. we already eliminated six. Yeah. So is it is it one? Is it eight? Shadow needs to exercise his muscles in order to exercise his brain. This sequence is called Shadow is Thinking. Are we sure Shadow is Thinking? I mean, okay, our, our options are 1, 7, and 8, so... So, let's start knocking them out. You thought it was one? Yes. I actually can't remember which box I picked first. <laughs> we, may we may also be approaching the moment when Pascloud decided that he probably will not do this fairly. <laughs> I mean, I could argue, a, I could argue a pattern from one for pretty much all day, but it's it feels after doing this, it feels arbitrary. It, it does feel after, very arbitrary. Okay, let's one one, one was the one favorite, but it was in it was incorrect. Foolish child, how dare you deny the great and powerful shadow? Hit the box. It's five. The first one is five. The second one is neither is neither six nor one. Is it eight? Nope. So it's it seven. Not eight. <laughs> okay. All right. We're we're making we're actually making progress. There's only one possible answer for the second question now. <laughs> Let me also state for the record that about half of this video, half of this raw video was was just loading times. Yeah. This is the last question. Good fucking luck. <laughs> okay, zero, two, four, and eight. Hmm. I think I do give an honest effort at this one at first. Ah, uh, it's either two or zero. Assuming that it's a, uh, assuming that it's a, a vertical pattern. Yeah, I tried. I, believe me, I played. I've I've seen Sudoku. Like I get that. This is not Sudoku. a lot of patterns. Re this is not Sudoku because if you add if you add the the sum of the of the horizontal and the, or the sum of the vertical there, there's there's no pattern they they all add up to different numbers. Yeah. So you see, Hold you know, it. you know those. Yes. It's zero because they because uh, it's a horizontal pattern and they want yeah they want them all to add up to fifteen. No, because the bottom one's 14. God damn. There's no pattern. God damn it, there's no pattern. The top, <laughs> two, add, the top two add up to 15 quite uh, quite cleanly, but uh, the bottom one was only 14. Fuck. So, 
And it's not a vertical pattern either, because uh, uh, going up and down at 16. You're good at everything you do, Shadow. Except this. <laughs> uh, I say it's zero. I say that this girl is letting me into her secret club. <laughs> it's not a secret club, though. She has openly told you that it's a decryption network. That is true. Maybe this club is not all it's cracked up to be. Okay, we've eliminated zero and eight from no, the last we've question. Four we're, and eight. we're penetrating this goddamn fortress. <laughs> Welcome to trial and, error, uh, trial and Error the Hedgehog 2006. Seven. Two. God damn it! <laughs> I was right, it was zero. It's just that okay. their math is terrible. There's only one possible answer left. Numbers be damned. <laughs> I'll kick your numbers. I'm setting a new speed record. Your IQ is about 200. Please join my team. Uh. Trial and error is not an in, uh, intellect quotient. Well, pro I'd say that that is a good a a aptitude test for problem solving ability, because this was quite the problem. Yeah. And in the next part, we will have even more problems. <laughs>